Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Derek Austin's Level Up Travel. You know I love to talk about points, miles, rewards, rewards, credit cards, credit cards in general. Love to talk about cash back as well. Also, programs like the hotel programs, uh, airline programs, and the credit card programs like membership rewards from American Express, like ultimate rewards from Chase, thank you points from City and Capital One Miles. And I also love to talk about travel. Uh, today, uh, I'm gonna talk about an, a 3% cash back credit card. It is a business card and we'll get into that just a little bit. Before I even get into the card, just wanna apologize. I did have a, a, a video up a couple of days ago uh, and it basically was about referrals and I was trying to make it so we had a community that put referrals down below and constantly do it and had like a promotion of just being able to put, everyone put their, promote, their uh, referrals down below and help each other out and get some like nice cool like Christmas gifts to each other uh, in referral lists, which could be a lot of money. It could be a couple hundred dollars each you know each referral so anyway i tried that video i ended up taking it down because youtube is blocking all the comments there was like five comments and not that many views too so um i kind of caught it early but there was like five people that did put comments down below it's probably referrals i don't even know uh because i couldn't even see what the comments were but yeah they youtube blocked it so i ended up taking it down so more people weren't going to their referral links, get, you know, rounding them up and then putting them down below all for nothing, you know? So I do apologize for those, I think it was five people that did put them down, uh, but you can understand why I then ended up taking it down because it was not working. Anyway, again, I'm really sorry. Um, you guys are welcome to put your referral links down below, but keep in mind, YouTube's probably gonna block them. It's not me, I don't mind. I actually love it and hopefully that everyone could could uh, help each other on that way, but I think it's gonna be blocked. So anyway, let's get back to the video. 3% credit card on everything. There is a little catch, so it's not like a perfect 3% on everything unlimited, okay? Uh, just keep that in mind. This is and a card I do have, okay? And it's a cashback card. Um, it's called the Evergreen, the Evergreen Business Edition credit card from FNBO, okay? Evergreen by FNBO Business Edition Credit Card is the official name, I guess. So I'm trying to focus that. So really, it's a really awesome card, actually. Um, and again, I do have it. I currently have it in my wallet. Um, this is the offer that they have on it. It's um, So again, it is a business card. So, And it's one of those ones, a small business card. You, you really don't have to have like a real brick and mortar business. Just want to put that out there, guys. You could say I sell some stuff on eBay. I deliver some uh, DoorDash, um, Grubhub. Again, eBay is an easy one. Sell some stuff on Amazon. I have, you know, a, I don't know, a garage sale outside. Um, whatever you want to say, it's it's pretty easy to get. Um, you know, have it say that you have a business. You don't have to put like extreme revenues. You can put like a hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, or two thousand bucks in revenue. You know, for the year. They're gonna go for you, they're gonna go on your personal credit. So if you have good credit, you're gonna probably get approved, okay? Um, and the great thing about business credit is, just in general, right? It's like you're two different people. It doesn't go on your personal credit. So you can utilize things like 0% financing, utilize the whole card. You can pretty much have it maxed out with 0% financing uh, for the year. On, the, uh, on this card, there's an offer for 0% for a year. Um, yeah, you can take advantage of that and not have to uh, worry about it affecting your credit because credit utilization. It wouldn't go on utilization for your personal credit card unless you default it, okay? So anyway, let's get back down to the great parts about this card. So it is a 2% credit card, okay? I know you're saying, Derek, you said it's 3%. It is. I'll show you why it is. So it's a 2% credit card on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Great. There is a $200 sign-up bonus on this card for $1,000. Really cool. They have to get it done in the first three billing cycles, so roughly three months. Um, no annual fee on the card. There is foreign transactions on this card, by the way. Uh, I think it's like 3%, so not the best card to use outside the United States. Or, yeah, it would be only the United States. This is only for United States people. So um, no rewards expiration, something I would definitely would expect um, on a cashback card. Um, here is the superpower, okay? You earn 10,000 bonus points every anniversary year with a $10,000, if you spend $10,000 on the card every year, okay? 
So every time your card renewals with the zero annual fee, you get 10,000 points, which is equal to 100 bucks, okay? Really awesome. So that's where it becomes a 3% card. So it's a bonus on $10,000 spent. So at exactly $10,000 spent for the year, it's a 3% card every year. Now, if you don't spend $10,000, you won't get that bonus. So say you spent $9,500, it would only be a 2,000, it would only be a 2% card on that $9,500 because you didn't hit the $10,000 bonus, right? Here's the other thing, if you spend more than $10,000, it won't be quite 3%, it will go down slightly more the more you, more you spend. It, let's just give an example, you spent $20,000 on the card, it'd be a 2.5% credit card. You'd get that bonus at 10,000, after that, it'd be 2%, okay? So just keep that in mind. But it is a 3%, if you can spend pretty much exactly $10,000 or right about $10,000, a little bit more, you wanna do a little bit more because a little bit less would not work. But if it was a little bit more, you'd be good. Uh, you can get used on your everyday spend. If you can manipulate the way you spend at the even at the end and just make sure you get the $10,000, yeah, you're gonna get the uh, 3% uh, on the card. That's pretty awesome. So. You just have to keep track of that a little bit, but I think it's worth it uh, if you're one of those cashback people. You get a 3% card, there is no 3% cards out there on every purchase like that. So, um, and it's a good high amount for personal, per, uh, you know, for personal use. And I kind of use it for personal use, just to be honest, okay? I use it for pretty much personal use, and that's pretty good, $10,000. But, you know, if it's a, if you're a, a real legitimate small business, it's a, a small amount of money, you know? but. Um, anyway, um, I think it's pretty cool. Great card. Not many, uh, there's not really any benefits on this card. You know, you're not getting like rental car. You're not getting, you know, really any purchase, extra purchase uh, protections beyond a regular Visa uh, card. Um, it is not Visa signature, it's a Visa card. Um, but hey, it's, it's a good card for everyday spending. 3% is pretty good. Like people are talking about 3% cards on on like a specific category being good, like, you know, like dining or groceries and stuff like that. This is 3% on everything at $10,000, okay? So I remember the stipulation I talked about. So it's a really great card. I think you should get it. Um, the personal version is also there. It just doesn't have that superpower of the $100 bonus every year. It's just a 2% flat cash back card. Um, so that is an option too. It's a real good card. That card is really good because both these cards are for personal use give nice high limits. Like they're very famous for giving the, the FMBO personal credit card and the business credit card for giving $15,000 credit limits. That's really good for a personal card. It's okay for a business card, but it, it's really good for a personal card. So just keep that in mind. And if you're in that situation where uh, you're trying to build your credit and, and uh, then the the personal version might be really good. If you ever already have good credit and you wanna kinda hide your spend from your personal credit so your utilization doesn't go higher, uh, then the business card would be really good. And the credit and the business card is also just really good because it's three percent on everything to ten thousand dollars and but right at ten thousand dollars like we talked about. So guys, if you like the content, I know it was a little bit creative comment content, but I think that's kinda like why you tune into a channel like this, you know, to see the creative stuff, right? So give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. L love to have uh, more people in the community. Hit the bell notification. Every time I come out with a new video, you will be the first to know, which is great. Uh, sorry with the baby uh, in the background. Can't control that. I have a newborn and uh, yeah, it's uh, sometimes they just cry. So anyway, have a great rest of the day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.